do not enter. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's unlocked. <laughs> so cool. Let's go. Welcome to the BBT podcast. I'm Becca. And I'm Quilly. We're friends that are just trying to be better together. Join us to hear about what it's like to be in between Gen Z and millennial identities. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Hey there. Want to be in our next episode? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, you have the chance right now <gasps> to send in your stories. <gasps> send us your stories on any <gasps> bad customer service experiences you've had. Whether you were the customer or whether you were the service personnel. We oh want to hear God. it. Send them to us and we will read them on the podcast for the world to see. <laughs> You can be anonymous, but if you don't want to be anonymous, you can also give yourself like a cool pen name at the end. So yeah, submit in the link below. It says like submit your hot tea or whatever. That one. We want to hear it. We want to hear it all. And if you want to get personal, message us on Instagram. We accept DMs. We know you're not an MLM. Yeah, hit us up. Send hit us, us up. your stories. Mm-hmm. We want to hear it. We got our own juicy stories. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. yo, so juicy. So juicy. Like, it's as if something's <laughs> dripping off your hands. <laughs> yo, no next episode. Head on there right now. Right now. Oh, submit story. it. We'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Quiz time. Welcome to either pillow talk or extra toppings, where we're gonna play with star sign. Yeah, we're gonna play we're with gonna, them. Yeah, we're gonna find out if we were born in the right month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because BuzzFeed knows best. Exactly, BuzzFeed knows best. Yeah, BuzzFeed so knows do... better yeah. than than the sign that we were born with. Maybe or maybe not. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna do BuzzFeed quizzes, and it'll be. A and we're gonna fun find time. out which month we were actually supposed to be born in. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, let's get this party started. Ooh, Three, so fancy. Two, one. Answer twelve random questions, and we'll guess your zodiac sign with astounding accuracy. Astounding accuracy. Oh, I see what they're doing with the first question already. Yeah. Wait, do you? Oh my god, I don't. I don't know anything about astrology. All right, first question. What element do you feel the most connected to? Water, air, fire, earth. See, I know what my sign actually is. So, do I go with that? No, I shouldn't. But that makes to, it yeah. bias. I know, dude. I'm trying to imagine like what character I wanted to be in Avatar the Last Avatar, Airbender. Last Airbender. Yeah. Do you want to be a firebender like Zuko or waterbender or airbender or earthbender? Oh my god, I always really liked the earthbender. Toph. Have you seen Ooh. it? No, I haven't. Yo, haven't. it's really good. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick watch. Earth. I was also gonna pick Earth. Let's go. Just because, just because it looks, it looks nice, right? All right. Next question. We live on Earth. Mm-hmm. We love the Plants Earth. We gotta grow appreciate Earth. the Earth. Exactly. Gotta stop climate change. Exactly. Okay, but first of all, like, grounded. Mm-hmm, stay grounded. You gotta ground Humble. lightning bolts. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then trees grow out of the ground oxygen comes out of trees exactly, exactly. from the we ground that to survive yeah exactly important really mm-hmm. important yeah if you could have one power over one of these things what would it be four options are time people's minds the weather and the birth of new planets wait <laughs> the birth of new planets oh my god i'm gonna create a planet that belongs in the bts universe a the purple army one, planet the army planet people's minds you know that just makes you Power? a super overlord i know that's kind of scary that's i don't too really much. like that one yeah yeah i think that that would overwhelm me too much mm-hmm. and i think the birth of new planets is also a little bit too much for me yeah, I know, same. Yeah, I think I would like to have power over time. 
I'm really then... oh I wanted to pick weather because you know when you're like yelling at someone you can make pathetic fallacies so you can like make the lightning go kapam when you yell at them and then they're gonna be like oh my god this is divine intervention and then they'll actually feel bad about what they did <laughs> no I, I picked time because good because it'd be nice to like you know like certain moments in life it's like wow I would love to go back to that period of time but like a with your bit. current memories mm. Ooh. Mm. okay what if you went back in time and then you like talk to your younger self and then what's gonna happen and then like messed it all up yeah and then Aww. would you have been able to go back in time in the first place or is, does it create a parallel dimension oh no that's too complicated <laughs> I think hmm without my current memories maybe Okay. Wait, but then how would I go back? Wait, but then you wouldn't know. But then you'd be like back and you would make the same choices over again. And but it's, it's the same thing. It's not about that. Uh-huh. It's about just like cherishing the moment. That's true. That that's true. There. Oh, then you could yeah. just be like, you could just be like invisible and just observe what was going on. You know? Like yeah. You don't have to Maybe just interact. like a third party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you could teleport yourself anywhere, where would you go first? Okay, so it's not the only option, which means Four you could go anywhere options. else, too. Mm-hmm. I would stay at home, to the bottom of the ocean, high up in the galaxy, a beautiful landscape. Wow. If I could teleport anywhere, I would not oh, we wouldn't, teleport we wouldn't, like, to my right? home. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'd be in my home when I'm making the choice. Exactly. Okay, so recently I've been watching this channel called Mr. Ballin, and basically he's just this like clickbaity guy who like talks about like different places that people end up in and where they die and stuff like that. And a lot of the stuff he talks about is underwater and like how people just run out of air or they get nitrogen poisoning, the bends and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not about that. I also don't like yeah, the fish, like bottom, they're scary. Yeah. I know the bottom of the ocean is very scary. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's there. We've only explored what, like twenty percent of the ocean. Mm-hmm. We haven't gone deep, 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 deep down. Yeah, like that's so scary. I'm debating between yeah. the last two: high up in the galaxy or a beautiful landscape. Oh, the high up in the galaxy gives me the same vibes as bottom of the ocean, but True. I do think it is pretty up there. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, what is out there? What if you go up there and then you start doing like, mm-hmm. what is that movie called? Interstellar. Interstellar. Oh God, become like, like this like parallel universe. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Yeah, you like communicate with yourself via mm-hmm. a bookshelf. Mm-hmm. Yo, do you know about the Black Forest theory? <laughs> no. Okay. So, Black Forest theory is basically like if you announce yourself to the out outer space like there could be other intelligent creatures who are who are more powerful than you right or like more technologically mm-hmm. advanced okay so then mm-hmm. if you announce your position then they're going to know where you are and they're going to come destroy you so then that's why in the black forest theory it's like everyone just like stays quiet and everyone will survive <laughs> but Wait, if you what? like announce yourself outwards then you'll, you'll be exposing your position and they're going to want to come get rid of you wait this is like in space yeah or this is like everywhere okay in space like if you announce your position in space yes yeah, so i learned this from the trilogy of the three body problem the second book is called black force but then how do you announce your printed position though okay so you know how stephen hawking was always like don't do that because it's because of the same theory you know because he thinks that people are going to come destroy us so basically you can send like radio waves and stuff like that and assuming that like other aliens have like a higher intelligence and they would be able to intercept your message and read it and they'd be under- able to understand like that's only if they understand how to read your frequencies though what the heck <laughs> yeah that's so scary i'm not sure if i got it right actually let me do a quick search <laughs> dark forest theory. dark Sorry. forest theory yeah okay never know where you actually yeah. are see a terrifying explanation of why we haven't heard it heard from aliens yet it's the fermi paradox ask us where all the aliens are if the cosmos should be full of them the dark forest theory says we should pray we never find them imagine they have the same theory about us have yeah also aliens to them that's why it's the dark forest theory because everyone just like doesn't want to Does tell people thing. where they are yeah oh i see i see Right, because they wow. want to eliminate threats, because potentially we could kill them. Right, so then everyone's just yeah, yeah, quiet. Yeah. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But they're just in their nine to five mm-hmm. jobs as well. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, someone <laughs> recently sent me an article where this lady, I don't even know if it's NASA or whatever, but they said they were going to send out our position, so. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> Stephen Hawking said not to do it. <laughs> Just for fun, just for, to see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Basically. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Guys, so I'm gonna do there. this thing that no one said. Everyone said not to do. Exactly. The exact That's thing. How the antagonist in every single movie gets like screwed over. Yeah, mm, they're like, I know. They told me I couldn't activate this cube. I'm gonna activate it. You said not to touch this. Wait, this? You mean this? This, this, this right? No, that. No, no, this. <laughs> You tell me not not to go in this room? Hmm? No. Oh, the doorknob, it works. There's water coming out from the bottom? Huh? Do That's fine. Do not enter. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's unlocked. So cool. Let's go. Just pulling a horror movie on ourselves. Mm-hmm. Very quickly. Yeah, so I think I'm going to choose a beautiful landscape. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick the galaxy. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is a visual what one. Pattern catches your eye. Uh, what well, the first one is a peach background with a bunch of toilet paper. The second mm-hmm. one is like a a, te- a, te- a, te- a, te- a te- tessellation with like coin shaped, like Asian coin. And then um, this is for our listeners, by the way, uh, Asian coin <laughs> with like peach hues mixed in with like dark blue hues. And the next one is like lego blocks imagine like someone just pieced together like a bunch of long legos and then made a lego wall but they're all like different colors and then the last yeah. one is like um if you went to the paint store and went to the bear section and you take all their samples and like cut out each color and then put them like triangles like fish scales and then try to like have them kind of blend together but not really but it looks rustic mm-hmm. <laughs> was that good that was good. I was thinking the exact same thing for the Lego one. Nice. Which one speaks to you? Which one connects to your soul? Oh, it's tough. It's tough. I like the bottom too. The, f- the third one is just it's very The loud. Lego one? There's so much contrast. There's just so much energy in there. I feel like it's a good time. A little bit mm-hmm. chaotic, but but a good time. Like when you go to the Lego store... Oh, that's a great time. Right? It's a good time. It's a good time. There's so much yellow in there. Like, you don't see yellow anywhere in adulthood. Like, mm-hmm. that much yellow. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that one. But I also like the fourth one because it just has this nice calming presence to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in the spa. Yeah, and it's, like, not too controlled. It's kind of, like, calm yeah, but yeah. artistic. And it's, like, not too rigid. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. I honestly oh, vibe with hard. all of them. But which one catches my eye is obviously the Lego one because that one like pops out at me the most. Exactly. Okay, exactly. you know which one I'm going to pick? The toilet paper. I'm kidding. How did you know? Do, do. Wait, really? Okay, because the thing, the magic behind the toilet paper one is that when you look from afar, it doesn't look like toilet paper. It just looks like dots on like a peach background. But then you look closely and it's toilet paper. And it speaks to me because of the toilet oh. paper craze at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pick I, the toilet paper. I, I I picked the colorful Legos. Nice, nice. Good choices, good choices. <gasps> oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. Which cat would you rather own? A white cat, a black cat, gray cat, or an orange cat? Yo, you know what my mom says about orange cats? What? She says they're common. (laughs) Oh, like they're basic? Yeah, they're basic. No. She's like Garfield, too basic. (laughs) Jeez, I was going to pick the orange one, actually. Oh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Oops. (laughs) Yeah, I like orange. I like the orange vibe. Mm. It's so different from the others. Yeah, it like it has like a tiger feel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm but that white the... cat has yeah. really nice eyes. Yeah, this white cat reminds me of a of a channel called Little Grengold or something. Not a channel, mm-hmm. Instagram page. Oh my god! By the way, guys, you should go. You guys should check out this Instagram page called Meow underscore Cash. And then this cat has the best meows. I'm not even kidding. Meows. Yeah, wow this, yeah this guy his name is cash 
And he's so cute. It has good meows. It has good meows. It has really I've good meows. I've never heard mm-hmm. someone comment on the meow of a cat. Okay, I, I do my, my cat very seriously, okay? The cat that I have at home, its meows are okay. It has, like, better, like... It has, like, better communication noises, not, like, the meow noise. Do you know what that... Okay, sometimes cats don't meow at humans. They go, like, nah, nah. You know, they make, like, other sounds. Oh, My cat's yeah, really yeah, good sounds... at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Cash has a meows? really good meow. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Gotta check that out. <laughs> Gotta check that out. <laughs> sounds very interesting. Yes. Well, I'm gonna pick the white one. I picked orange. <laughs> Basic... <laughs> Garfield. Circles, mm. dots, stripes, or squares. Well, that's okay, basically... Gotta describe it again. With options. Yeah, you can describe <laughs> yeah. it. Okay, the circles is the color of MasterCard. So basically, one side is orange, the other side is red, and it looks like water is like splashed on a window. Okay, and then the dots one is like you're playing laser tag, and everything is black, and there's like bright green neon dots. And then the stripes is like zebra, but flat and like super long. <laughs> and the squares is just a chain link fence with like a lock on it. I tried my best. That was good. That was good. Uh, Why did they know. choose this one for squares? Yeah, I know. So I guess they wanted you to find squares to in like the natural surrounding. <laughs> oh, the squares. The naturally occurring squares in the world. Yeah, made by humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are some naturally occurring squares? Yeah, what well, the first thought I had was saltine crackers. <laughs> I thought of ice cubes, but I'm like, that's made uh, by natural. humans. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, this is actually a good question. <gasps> naturally occurring squares. Oh my god, gems. Crystal ladder oh, structures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Salt. 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 Exactly. NACL. <laughs> Perfect square. Well, mm-hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. But squares on all sides. Yeah, they're back to first yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good course. I like that course. Same. Anyways. Our prof was lit. Yo, can we talk about how he, like, cleaned the board? I think we talked about it before. Oh, did we talk we about talk it? About oh, my God. Yeah, like, one of our yeah. favorite props. By the way, go check out the episode. We're not going to talk about it here again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which episode it was. Sorry, guys. Something about university. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, I think it was the university episode. So, dot. Yeah. I'm not a fan of dots. No, same. It's like the triple, 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 Yeah, not a fan. Don't like dots. Also, not mm-hmm. a huge fan of stripes. No, that's totally the picture, especially that the one they, they included gives yeah. me anxiety. It like, it's like too it rigid. It's like you know, it reminds me of like prison stripes. Yeah, I like circles. I was like so calm. Yeah, exactly. The picture they Guys, chose the circle like of life. Mm-hmm. No one's the gonna say the life. square of life. Like that's that's not a thing. It's the circle <laughs> of life, and the sun is a circle. The moon is a circle. Bubbles yeah. are circles. Water splashes are circles. Our blood cells are circles. Our eyes are circles. Mm. Yeah, cells. Wait. So, not really. Tissues, some tissue They're cells. Round. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And th- the whole like the system that the Earth works is just circles. Oh yeah, the Earth is. Yeah, it's just spheres kind of. of air that are just flowing around. Yeah, circles are the way to go. Amazing! Oh my gosh, the next question is great. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I what Hogwarts house are you in? Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. But first, you must be sorted into your houses. Gryffindor, Gryffindor Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. I don't know if that's Slytherin. the right order. And Slytherin. I don't know the order. Potter. Potter. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> I didn't know you could read. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh boy. Red hair. You must be a Weasley. Hand me down robe. <laughs> you must be a Weasley. <laughs> Red hair and a hand me down robe. You must be a Weasley. <laughs> Troll what? in the dungeons. Troll in the dungeons. Training for the ballet, Potter. <laughs> Training for the ballet, Potter. <laughs> if only he could remember not to fall on his big fat ass. <laughs> What an idiot. 
What an idiot. Dean Thomas, when he sees Hagrid for the first time. Whoa! That's his first line. (laughs) Really? Yeah, when they were on the platform. Oh, wow. I Mm -hmm. need to watch the movies. Yeah, so based on my test, I am a Ravenclaw. I'm a Hufflepuff. So I'm going to just choose Ravenclaw because apparently that's what I am. I've been identifying with it. You're Smarticles. Smarticle particle. I'm a Hufflepuff. I just like sit there and people don't even look at me. Yeah, they're like, they're going for the Gryffindors and if they want to fight, they go with the Slytherin. They want to solve their problem set, they go to the Ravenclaw and no one comes to me. Maybe they come for you for a nice nice time. They come for me only because (laughs) Cedric's in my house. (laughs) No one wants to talk to that girl, Susan Bones. Come on. (laughs) I don't even remember who that is. What form of art are you most likely to practice? Writing. Painting, music, or sculpting? Oh. Do you journal? I do not journal. No, mm. I don't. I was thinking of writing for you or mm. painting or sculpting. I like them all. <laughs> I know. I know. They're all you. I was How about painting yeah. or sculpting? Yeah, I think instead of like what form of art are you most likely to practice, how about the one that you want to practice the most? Or like the one you wish you did or more, you know? Because we all oh. live this rat race life where we don't have time for these things. <laughs> so we, we, we should just pick the one that we want to do the most. The one that are the, is the most desirable. Yes, the one that our heart. I... I've always wanted to do pottery. Do it. Click Always. it. Sculpting. Oh my god, so I have cool. an embarrassing story. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sculpting is like, really you know cool. that BTS? What is it? The run? Is it the run BTS? <gasps> run, run, run. The yeah. one where they're sculpting? So funny. The pottery episode? <gasps> so funny. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite. <laughs> when Jin has like that super tall. <laughs> and it goes like this. <laughs> And then when Sugar's like, <laughs> it's so good. Oh my it's god! So and then good. all of it these just... just fall onto the ground. It's such a mess, and it's so funny. I love it's so good. I love that episode so much. I want to do it. I want to try. Yeah, it looks like such a struggle. It's amazing. What was your embarrassing story? <laughs> yeah, Is it too that. embarrassing? Is it too much? Okay, so back when <laughs> back when I was in high school, I was kind of whack. Okay, I was whack. Whack and equally. basically, I was pretty yes. whack. Okay, <laughs> and then our school had wild a wild quilly, <laughs> wild wacky quilly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, our school had a pottery club where we there was like kiln and everything and we could do it and then so i would stay after school for this pottery club and then for some reason i honestly don't even remember but i like <laughs> i told the instructor that this girl said that he was annoying <laughs> but that didn't happen it did happen and the reason why i said it was because i was really annoyed of that girl <laughs> okay so i really i was like super annoyed of her and i don't even know why it's just like you know like little kid shenanigans okay we were in high school so then i told him that she said that and then i got totally busted in like the next (laughs) pottery class so then okay you know this is actually really embarrassing so i was at this pottery class again and and the girl that i was annoyed of was there Oh, wait, no, I told the story wrong. Okay, fast. Okay, you know how I said I told the guy? No, because the instructor was a dude. I told him that she said he was annoying. No, I actually told her that he said she was annoying. Bruh. But but I just used him to vicariously tell her that I thought she was annoying. Because <laughs> I thought she was annoying. So I was like, okay, other people, I'm just going to say someone else said she was annoying. So I said the instructor said she was annoying. <laughs> And then you know what? She was a brave woman. So she confronted the instructor and she was like, why'd you say I was annoying? (laughs) And then this is when I got totally busted. (laughs) You got completely exposed. 
exposed. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> You know what the instructor said to me? The instructor was like, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Yo, and this was in front of the whole club, and I was like, nice. <laughs> so yeah, this was the story of grade 9, whack, quilly. <laughs> yeah, the instructor didn't like me ever since then. I remember he even came up to me afterwards because I was making a sleigh for Christmas, and I made a little sushi roll to put on the sleigh, and he was like, you know, if you put too many parts, it's just going to explode in the kiln. <laughs> And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let it explode. And then guess what? It didn't explode. <laughs> mm. Okay, but I was in the wrong for lying. <laughs> but honestly, I learned from her. You, I got, learned- you got bamboozled there. <laughs> she yeah, really I bamboozled myself. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have Damn. lied. This is karma. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the story so of whack cooling. <laughs> Back in my whack days. <laughs> That is so funny. Yo, this reminds me of something else. I'm <laughs> totally taking us off on a tangent. <coughs> do you want? Do you want? More okay, whack, it's very more quick. Whack <clears throat> okay, so you know how like I told it in one episode once where I like tripped this guy when he was like walking out because I was walking towards the waterfront. <laughs> we like intersected and then he tripped. Right? Okay, so basically he hated me and he said he like rec- he like saw me as a bully in high school. <laughs> Because I was also the one that told him to keep crying or whatever. Oh no, Quilly strikes again. Quilly strikes again with the same bro. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> yeah, so like, in high school, he was so upset. He was so upset because like, I was like pretty wholesome in high school, except for the wax <laughs> thing. And also, okay. the prom story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. But yeah, except for the, those two. <laughs> except for those two wax situations. <laughs> so yeah, except for those two wax situations in high school, like I was pretty wholesome. Okay, everyone liked me and everyone said I was nice, you know? Because like, wholesome quilly, right? But then like this guy was like appalled because he was like, she's so evil. <laughs> like, why do, why do people like her? So yeah, sorry. That was like a quick tangent. <clears throat> How do we get here? Trying to sculpt thing. Don't put words in my mouth. I still remember his face till this day. It was really scary. <laughs> Damn, she was brave. She was brave. She stood up for herself. Exactly. I applaud that behavior. Like, why Quilly? Why'd you do that? You deserved it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <sighs> okay, I didn't click on anything. All right. Um. Oh yeah, what did you click? Okay, I think I really want to paint more. Mm-hmm. I want to paint more. I, I love painting, too. Yeah. I was debating on the two of them. Mm-hmm. But sculpting, I chose sculpting because I've never tried it, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, good I one. That's a good one. It. Yeah, and I want to channel <laughs> some inner gin. Inner gin. <laughs> inner gin. <laughs> okay, which vintage picture do you find the most aesthetically pleasing? Ooh. The first one is a old tv you know a tv mm. from like the 60s it's oh. on like a stool and then the background is like a checker like squares like nice. a grid like a grid 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 yeah yeah it's yeah. pink it's pink it's giving mm-hmm, very mm-hmm. 60s vibe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um second one says i'd rather focus on the future and it's very futuristic yo that's a cop out it says which vintage picture in this yeah i'd, I'd rather, rather focus, focus on the, on the future, on the future. <laughs> <laughs> and the picture is like Kind of looks like if you're at the airport and those like mm-hmm. <laughs> the fast walkway, <laughs> those fast walkways, but it has the lights on it and the, everything else is dark. And then the third one is like hotel, motel, hall. <laughs> it's like it a up like dynamite. Oh yeah, it kind of gives dynamite vibes, like the color scheme. It's like teal, but I think it's to a motel. And then mm. the top has this, like, mm, what is that? Like a flower type mm. of design on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the last picture is a girl or a guy. Not sure. Um, soaking up Adam's the sun. Apple. Yeah. I think it's a girl, but not sure. A person, an individual, soaking mm-hmm. up the sun 
um, sunglasses on, facing the sun, arm resting on the head, blue background, sky mm-hmm. background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first one reminds me of the music video for Straw May's Papa Ute. Oh, interesting. Because it have has like that a TV. Yeah. Oh. I'd rather focus on the future, dude. That sounds like someone who's like super full of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Like, I, I don't, don't like think, about, think the about the past. past. Yeah. No, you gotta like focus on the future because like that's where all the money is at. You know, you you get you get nothing out of thinking of the past. Thinking of the past is just a waste of time. The stock market doesn't go backwards. No regrets. I like to live with no regrets. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I never think back and learn from my mistakes. I <laughs> just keep making them. <laughs> yeah. So not that one. I'd rather focus on the future. I'm really I really feeling... like the third one. Me too. I'm really feeling the Dynamite Motel vibe. Yeah. Oh, I like that one tell, too. Motel. Let's get that one. Yeah, let's get that <laughs> one. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry now. Ooh. What would you love to eat right now? Something sweet like brownies. Something comforting like pasta. Something nourishing like a charcuterie board. 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 Something refined like seafood. Ooh. They all look good. I know. The pictures that they put are really enticing. I know. I know. They look very enticing. But this one depends on like what time of day it is. Right now it's nighttime. And I don't know. Pasta. Some of these things like... It's a nighttime snack. Mm, are you feeling the charcuterie board? <laughs> I'm board. feeling something sweet like brownies. Oh, true. Sweet it like brownies. Sweet. Seafood is a little, little much for nighttime. Mm-hmm. But I'm really mm-hmm. digging the pasta right now. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. Pasta it is. Yeah. Oh my god, we're almost done. We're almost done. The brownies, look at the crust on them. They look delish. Oh, yeah, look Delish. at that. I love pecans, though. Are you not a fan of pecans? You screw pecans. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Why? They're so okay. expensive, though. It's because, like, thing. back in residence in first year, they had these, like, pecan or pecan tarts that gave me freaking cavities. I would take no. one bite, and it was just, like, molasses. Like, the filling was just pure molasses. So oh, I, that's why I don't too like much. them. Too sweet, yeah. too sweet. Wow, okay. okay, this one's hard. Oh, interesting. How would someone describe yourself? Wait, how would someone describe yourself in one word? How would someone describe yourself in you. one word? <laughs> Grammar. Grammar. Yo, we can do a switcheroo. I'll pick the one for you and you pick the one for me. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so the options are sensitive, intelligent, complex and outgoing i think quilly is very outgoing i let's get I, it I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm picking wait should i pick it for you wait oh, no, no I, I have to click it, it. you would I have pick to click outgoing, outgoing. yes okay yes, yes i want to play pick intelligent for oh. becca oh, i'm so flattered <laughs> hey <laughs> it's the ravenclaw speaking exactly it's the ravenclaw oh, wow. finally Ooh. Which of these nature picks can you identify with? They actually have descriptions on these ones. A yes. poppy swaying in the wind on Flanders fields. The poppies grow between the crosses row on row. I forgot the rest. A lonely tree. <laughs> a leaf in autumn. I was going to be very impressed if she got the, the whole thing. <laughs> and a rocky mountain. Wait, okay. Wait, do you know the whole thing? I did at one point, but I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I know the rest now. Oh, I also funny. knew it in French. Oh, <gasps> a lonely tree. I don't like that one. It's I don't like the scary. picture. Yeah, it's like okay. So the most recent horror movie I watched watch was horror movie. on Halloween at my friend's house, and then we were watching The Ring, the American remake. And they kept referring to this freaking tree. So I really don't like that one either. (laughs) They kept referring to this lonely tree on the hill. Like, that's that's this. (laughs) So it's not that one. Um, A leaf in autumn. Like, 
y'all get stepped on, but that's it's fun. I love the smell of autumn leaves, though. And it's pretty. It's mm -hmm. yellow. Mm -hmm. it sways. Yeah. And it falls down. A rocky mountain. You got a hard exterior and a hard I know. interior. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know about that one either. I don't think I'm poppy swaying in the wind. Either. Neither am I. I feel like that's way too loose, man. You know, one blow when you're just tumbling down the hill and spreading exactly. your little poppy seeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a Ghibli film called stem. Up on Poppy Hill, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their stem oh, is so like, interesting. like straight, thin. Slimly. Are you going to be the autumn leaf? Yeah, I'm picking autumn leaf. Nice. I think I'm going to pick the Rocky Mountain. Because she's tough. <laughs> I'm a tough Hufflepuff. Like, don't, don't get me. I'm her. the beater, okay? I'm gonna beat that quaffle right up in her. your face. She's okay? Gonna put <laughs> if you mess with Gooey, she's gonna tell the teacher that they think you're annoying. <laughs> don't mess with her. Tough don't mess with else. me. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna straight away this quaffle into your broom. I don't care if it's a Nimbus two thousand and one. It's gonna fall off and you're gonna fall off and <laughs> bug off. Queen is a beater. I mean, I can't be the seeker, you know. Cedric's got that job already. You can only somebody's got to be. And then the you're goalkeeper gonna... is pretty lame, right? You can't even fly around. Chaser. You know, I'd rather mm. hold a bat, you know. I'm proficient with with activities requiring me to hold a racket or a bat. <laughs> Oh yeah, basically, it's basically badminton. <laughs> exactly, but in the air with magic. <laughs> Done with the quiz. All right, ooh, dun, this dun, is so fancy. Dun, 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 dun. I got an. We both got the same. Yo, thing. what the heck, <laughs> dude? This is rigged. <laughs> we picked different things. We picked different things. Yo, I swear, I everyone here is a witness. We picked different things this time. <laughs> Last time you could argue that come a couple of them were similar, but this time they're so <laughs> different. They were not mm -hmm. the same. Starting yeah. from the beginning, exactly. No, actually, we picked the same. Started thing from the beginning. bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> now we're in the air. Damn, air. Wait, what do we put for the first one? Earth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like what the heck? Oh my god. Look goodness. how scammed. Okay. Air sign: Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Mm. You're a total air sign. You're just as good at thinking as you are at communicating with others. You love being spontaneous and are the, probably the person who gets your friends to try things that are outside their comfort zones. You're adventurous, friendly, and thoughtful. Ooh. 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 <laughs> friendly and thoughtful? I don't know if a uh, whack could fall into this category. <laughs> <sighs> this is fun. That was good. Okay, do you oh agree gosh. with your results? Mm. Do you guys think these are the correct results for us? <gasps> ick, ick. If you know, them? you know. Are we going to tell them? Nah, we should leave it as a mystery. It's a mystery. mystery. You won't it's know. a mystery, Harry. Total air. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? Total airhead. <laughs> Definitely a pillow talk. <laughs> yeah, it's a pillow talk. This is a pillow talk with extra toppings vibes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I never thought of myself as an ear sign. But now, maybe you guess are. I am. Maybe I guess am. you are. Thanks, guys, for watching this episode. Mm -hmm. It was a fun episode. We hope you enjoyed watching us do this quiz. Mm -hmm. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs give it up? a thumbs up if you also didn't. Give it a like thumbs it. up. I'm kidding. Oh, we, Just we, give we, it a thumbs up. Just thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, all thumbs up everywhere. You know, like at the end of a Teams meeting or Zoom where like the uh, the person finishes their presentation, everyone just goes, like, yeah, yeah, the hands like come this. up like this. <laughs> or like the thumbs, like this. <laughs> That's what we want to see. That's what we want to yeah. see. Right. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. And while you're there, click that subscribe button too. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, join our Patreon. Just kidding, we don't have one. <laughs> we like to give a shout out to our top patrons Becca and Quilly <laughs> Love you guys Couldn't do it without you Our platinum tier Patreoners Becca and Quilly Access to exclusive content Right in their own homes 
You could be one today. Just apply in the link down below with your customer service story. Bye. Bye. Tune in next time for some more views where we'll be better together. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. We'll be better together. Better together. Thank you for listening to the BBT pod. Our music is by our friend at soundcloud.com slash M-I-E-R-U-K-O. See y'all next time. Bye. We should make a workout video. Bye. (laughs)